Hello everybody, God bless you. The Bible says that this is the day that the Lord has made, so we shall rejoice and be glad in it. I wanted to come up here and make this video to share with you guys a dream that the Lord has given me. It has to do about the end time, and I feel like there's something to learn about this dream. When you look at the world, look at everything that's happening right now, there's no doubt about it that Jesus is coming back soon. Yes, we don't know the hour or the date that he will be coming, but we can tell by the season, and the world is getting so crazy right now. So many things are being revealed. This can only mean that Jesus is coming back soon. Bible prophecies are being fulfilled right before our eyes. And the Bible says that in the last days that God will pour out his spirit upon all flesh and we will dream dreams prophesy and all of these things so a lot of these times like God is pouring out his spirit upon all flesh that's why you are seeing a lot of people coming and talking about dreams that God has given them obviously we test the spirit you can test the spirit even right now I really pray and make sure that I don't be saying anything just by myself that I allow the Lord to lead me through these videos so don't just listen to anybody test the spirit and make sure that you feel peace but with that being said the dream that the law has given me this was quite a bit ago so i can't share every single detail from this dream but i will share the main important things that were highlighted to me that i still remember to this day so i go to sleep one time and it seemed like i arrived in this place where everything in this world was chaotic i look everywhere you will see mothers holding their children while the whole world was being chaotic you will see fires explosions you'll see a lot of bad stuff happening in the world right what it felt like was like the tribulation. I saw a lot of famous YouTubers that a lot of people know, a lot of well-known famous YouTubers being left behind here. Fame, all of that things will not matter anymore. What will matter is you trying to survive. So I looked in the sky, I saw a group of people and I saw three people in this group and they were all sitting in a circle with a tea cup in their hands. And it seemed like they all had on black suit and they were just kind of floating in the sky. And I just felt some type of dark evil presence coming from them and they were just laughing smiling having a good time while the whole world was in chaos everything was going wrong you see people crying mothers crying children crying you just hear it and you feel the terror that's happening in the world and then i see these people in the sky just laughing and chilling doing all of these things so immediately what i got from this dream is that there are people in high positions that are wicked they are controlling some of the bad stuff that are happening in the world right now obviously god still gets the last set but there are people here evil demonic agenda trying to kill people and they're doing all of these things for their own selfish desires and gains and all of these things the devil is using these people to do crazy things and I was just wondering how can they just be laughing when all of these things are happening almost as if they're the one that caused this bad stuff to happen and then at this time when all of this was happening it didn't seem like the church was there the church will have to be in rapture before all of these things will be taking place the Bible says that we are the light of the world we are the salt of the earth when the light is removed there is darkness all over the place that's that's why I believe the rapture will happen before the tribulation. When you look all throughout the Bible, God will save his people. God saved Noah when he built the ark. He saved Lot and his family before he ran down the fire upon Sodom and Gomorrah. Even when Abraham asked God and said, if there were this amount of righteous people in Sodom and Gomorrah, will you still destroy it? And God said, no. And God does not change. He is the same yesterday, today, and forever. So if he was the same way back in the days, he's the same way today. If there are this amount of righteous people here on this earth, he will not destroy them. So the only way he will do that is if you protect his people, remove them for him to freely pour out his wrath upon the flesh. The Bible says that the tribulation will be a tribulation that the world has never seen before. That's why they call it the great tribulation. And you don't want to be here for that. So I made a rapture video not too long ago talking about a rapture dream that the Lord has given me. And in the comment section, I just had people coming and saying all type of stuff. But the Bible is clear. Obviously, don't just go on YouTube and go off for people's dreams. Don't go off my dream. 
dream or what I said. Go and study the Bible for yourself. I can mess up and say something that's wrong. Anybody can mess up and say something that's wrong. You can mess up and say something that's wrong. But what is never wrong is the word of God. So go to the word even after you watch this video and you have to make sure that in these last days that you are rooted and grounded in the Bible. Spending time in the presence of God. Allowing God to work on your heart and allowing your love for him to grow. And the only way you will allow for your love to grow is if you receive his love. The Bible says that we love because he first loved us. Look at all of these things that's happening right now in this world. Like when you look at the pandemic that happened in 2020, COVID-19, it took the whole world by surprise. Nobody was expecting that to happen. And it happened like that and the whole world had to go on a lockdown. So it goes to show you how easy it is for you to lose everything. People literally lost the right to go outside, to go to the store. That's how easy it is to control everything in the world. So how, what makes you think that it wouldn't be easy to do something bigger or to do something else that can also throw off the world. So the only way you can survive in this time is if you have the Lord on your side. If your foundation is the Lord, if you're rooted in him, no matter what the devil does, no matter how many people he sent your way to try to attack us or to try to get us to deny our faith, no matter what, we will always be grounded and we will always stand firm because God is the one that's holding us up. I'm here to tell you, you cannot try to serve God and be in the world at the same time it's either you're in one or the other fully Jesus says that if you are lukewarm he will spit you out of his mouth my friend if you're somebody who's backsliding eternity is very much real once we die we either we go to heaven or we go to hell and I'm telling you Jesus came and died for all of us he wants to have a relationship with us not just on Sundays but all throughout the week every day you can feel the presence of God you can have God direct you and guide you in your life in every single thing that you do and if you want to accept Jesus into your heart if you don't know that if today was your last day on this earth that you will go to heaven. The Bible says that if we believe in our heart and we confess with our mouth that Jesus is Lord, that we will be saved. And if you want to do that, I want you to believe this and repeat this prayer after me and say, Dear Lord Jesus, come into my heart. Forgive me of my sin. I believe that Jesus is the Son of God who died for me and he rose again from the dead. Fill me with the Holy Spirit and use me for your glory. Give me a passion for the laws, a holy boldness to preach the gospel of Jesus Christ. I'm saved. I'm born again. I'm going into heaven because I have Jesus in my heart. In Jesus' name, amen. If you pray that prayer, God has forgiven you. And the next step is just to get plugged in into the Bible. Get deep in the words. Read the gospel. Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. Start with the book of John and then go through the whole gospel and then get plugged in into a community of believers, people who value the word of God and love God so much. And if you don't have anybody, I want you to DM me on my Instagram. The link will be in the description. But I love you guys. I hope this video was able to encourage you. And if you are a believer, I want to encourage you to continue to stand firm and continue to pray for your loved ones. I pray that God bless you and protect you and see you in heaven.